Hello, I'm Shadow Raccoon. Breakfast, according to the experts, is the most important meal of the day. It's also possibly the furriest. Chances are, at some point in your life, possibly even right now, while you watch this video, you have sat there eating a breakfast cereal in the shadow of a colourful anthropomorphic animal on a box promoting the product. Today, I thought we should take a look at some of the best furry cereal mascots. Chip the Wolf is the mascot for Cookie Crisp, replacing Chip the Dog in the United States in 2005. This wolf actually originated in Europe and Asia in 2003, where sometimes, in some places, he's known as the Howler. Similar to Trick's Rabbit, this wolf was known for trying and failing to get his hands on delicious Cookie Crisp. Here's a commercial. Chip the Wolf here! Delicious Cookie Crisp there! Cookie Crisp! Looks like chocolate chip cookies and tastes like them too! But now has even more chips! So I'll do even more to get them! The Cookie Crisp is mine! Whoa! Yeah. Cookie Crisp! Yeah. Now with more chips than ever before! From what I've googled, wolves, like dogs, can't eat chocolate. So I'm pretty sure a chocolate chip cereal is probably not the best thing for him to be trying to eat anyway. Wait, I hope that's not why they replaced Chip the dog. Ooh. Still, I'm sure it's safe to assume, assume that Chip the wolf and these adverts served as an inspiration for many wolves in the fandom. And with box art like this appearing on your breakfast table every morning, it was gonna happen. Trix Rabbit was created in 1959. It is easily one of the most well-known mascots, even in countries where Trix cereal doesn't even exist. Adverts usually feature Trix Rabbit attempting to get some cereal by means of an elaborate stunt. This would end in failure with the kids in the advert telling the rabbit that he was silly and that Trix was for kids. Here's the commercial. Trix, get your Trix! Trix? A fruit Purple, blind, green! I gotta tackle those tricks! <laughs> oh, my eyes are playing tricks. Tricks? It's a tricks bowl! And it'll bowl you over. But silly rabbit tricks are for kids. Now, I take issue with this whole tricks is for kids thing. I mean, firstly, have you seen what dry rabbit food looks like? Yeah, see? It's very similar. And also, why does Trix need to go to so much effort to get cereal in the first place? I mean, I got this from the grocery store. It's like four dollars. It was so much easier. With these iconic adverts, the mascot's fun design, it's easy to see why the mascot is so popular amongst all of us bunnies. Sonny, the cuckoo bird, is the mascot of Cocoa Puffs. Not to be confused with the similar product of Coco Pops, which has a much less likeable monkey mascot. Introduced in 1962, he is maybe best known for his iconic catchphrase, I'm Cuckoo for Coco Puffs! I think that's it anyway. And then going absolutely crazy in the commercial for, you guessed it, Coco Puffs. Check this out. To keep from going cuckoo for Shani, this is a fancy restaurant. Welcome to Shea Chocolate. Your breakfast, sir, is the ultimate in munchy. Munchy. Crunchy. Crunchy. Please, say chocolatey. And chocolatey. Cocoa Puffs. I'm Coco for Coco Puffs. Coco for Coco Puffs. The ultimate chocolatey experience. Cocoa Puffs cereal, part of a good breakfast. This handsome bird even has similar hair to me. Not to mention that I go crazy when I have that much sugar or anything shaped. With good looks, a great personality, and sometimes swirly eyes. <sighs> Sonny is a fantastic furry cereal mascot who always welcome as part of my breakfast. I first discovered this lovable bear quite recently, actually, while making a furry commercials episode. And it just seems like an absolute shame that this bear wasn't more widespread. Targeted to a German audience, 
This bear's commercials usually featured him crunching a cereal and causing minor earthquakes at the same time, but he always had a happy song to sing whilst eating it, and it was really catchy, as you will see in this commercial. Könnt ihr eure Schokos nicht woanders knuspern? <lacht> Aber klar doch. Oh ja, Schokolade, ja, Knusperbar. <lacht> Schokos von Kellogg's gehören zum Frühstück dazu. Yeah. Sadly, this mascot was retired after the 90s, being replaced with the more common Kellogg's Monkey mascot. Uh, a real shame if you ask me, because monkeys are just nowhere near as awesome as bears. And you know how I feel. Yay bears! I suspect if this breakfast cereal had been on my table every morning, I could actually be Shadow Bear right now. Because I just love the mascot so much. The Quack Bunny, or Nesquik Rabbit, depending on whereabouts in the world you are, is not just the mascot for cereal, but he also stars in commercials for milkshake drinks and other snacks too. Debuting in 1973, he claims to be America's favorite bunny. <laughs> oh really? Are you sure not a certain purple rabbit is more popular? Roll the commercial. Houston, this is Team Nesquik, starting Operation Chocolate. Roger. Gathering Nesquik cereal. And to stir? Who he'll use the Big Dipper! Chocolatey level is out of this world! Good job, Team Nesquik! Yeah! We did it! Woohoo! <laughs> Stir up some fun! Now, whilst personally I prefer Trix Rabbit, to me, most of us bunnies, he is still one of the great role models, and easily one of the first bunnies you think of when someone asks you to name a rabbit mascot. What best cereal mascot list would be complete without Toucan Sam? Created in 1963, he was originally voiced by Mel Blanc, who you'll most likely know as the first person to voice Bugs Bunny. Hey, if there's anything to do with rabbits, I'm involved. <sighs> anyway, with his ability to smell Fruit Loops, for miles away, and always being lured to them, commercials usually always involved some sort of adventure to find the cereal. From 1994, adverts often featured his nephews too, offering you even more bird. I mean, why not? Check a look. I've got a craving for Kellogg's Fruit Loops. I love that fruit taste. I'll find who can Sam and make him take me to that yummy taste. No, a fruit bat? That's my name. Fruit's my game. Look into my eyes and take me to Kellogg's Fruit Loops. Don't use your eyes. What? Use your nose to get that beautiful taste. Give me those. Well, just follow your nose. He's taking me. To the berry, orange, lemon, cherry, and lime loops. There they are. Kellogg's Fruit Loop cereal with berry purple, a fruitful part of this complete breakfast. Mmm, fruitfully delicious. Yes, worth hanging around for. As with many commercials and anything animated, Toucan Sam got a 3D makeover in 2013, which very often ends up making things look a little... whole lot of worse. However, I must admit, this is not the case with Toucan Sam. He still looks really good. With his inviting expression and bright colours, Toucan Sam is a good furry to start your day. Bird approved. And finally, what best cereal mascot video would be complete without Tony the Tiger? Around since the 1950s in various forms, this mascot is likely best known in the fandom nowadays for the infamous Twitter incident. Hmm, yeah, that's where I remember that one. This involved the mascot's Twitter account blocking furries for various, um, tweets that made, made to the character that were not quite safe for work. This gained international media attention, and the tweets got worse, and it actually got to a point where they had to abandon the Tony the Tiger Twitter account in 2017 just to stop them coming. There is, however, a dedicated Frosted Flakes account, and um, it's just as bad. Oh, Tony. Oh, dear. Commercials usually featured Tony the Tiger showing us how great things are, 
if we just have a bowl of Frosties? Yeah, take a look. Kellogg's Supercharged Frosted Flakes as part of a good breakfast can bring out the tiger in you. Come on through! From the design of Tony, it's very easy to understand why he holds such status with furries. And even if you're not a fan of breakfast cereals. Still, with or without the Twitter controversy, I suspect many furs were inspired and wanted to join the fandom just in the packaging and the adverts and Tony alone. So he's probably got quite a lot to blame for furries there. Brilliant. So yeah, there we go. Those are some of the best furry cereal mascots, or at least our favourite. Who's your favourite? And what ones did we miss out? Who would you like to see featured next time? Let me know in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like, or subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Consider supporting me on Patreon. I've got lots of cool things to offer if you do join. And otherwise, I will see you next time. Thanks for joining me, everyone. Bye!